here, YouTube. I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter project every single time and give my honest thoughts on how that project is being ran. And today, I am very excited to be checking out the fourth most popular project on all of games and the, let's see, I'm going to guess sixth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth most popular project on all of Kickstarter. That is Paracle, Gathering Darkness, and App Driven Tabletop RPG. And so the first thing I got to say is this. Like, I feel like this could be used for, for much more space. Like, this is the most generic-looking fantasy thing. Like, it's just generic fantasy. And I don't feel like that's the play. Whereas down here, it's like, oh, app trip and tabletop RPG. Holy guacamole. That is something completely different, completely off the beaten path. And I'm excited to learn more. But it's just that the fun in 30 minutes, like, you're, like, this artwork's good, but it's not, like, that good. Where it's like, oh, this is what we lean our hat on. But anywho. As always, when you go into the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Let's go! An ancient threat has resurfaced in the world of Perico, bringing with it great suffering and the need for heroes to rise and lead those who would resist it. War will be waged against the gathering darkness. Acts of malice will be countered with sacrifice and Hey, there's bravery. that picture. Can you bring Perico back into the light? Or will you let it fall? All right, so I like that shot right there. I think that's a really solid shot. You're showing me, uh, presumably, because I could purchase this. I could probably just purchase uh, this without the box, but I'm assuming the box is going to be some sort of premium package that I'm undoubtedly going to want. So I do like the fact they're showcasing me. You're still getting your, your regular, uh, all the good stuff there. All into shadow. Wait, does this mean there's no GM? Is this a GM-less role-playing game? No way. Our foe has taken root in Jaria, a realm of warring factions and secret cults. There, blade and magic are as crucial to survival Whoa, as Whoa! We got a crazy looking die there. I think you did a great job spotlighting that crazy looking die. You and your Hey! Wait, 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 wait. This this does not look like a role-playing game. This looks like a board game. What's up, Mixikum? I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, this is a like this. We have acrylics. We have fancy dice. We have modular boards. What? <laughs> this looks like a board game to me. I'm intrigued. Our companions will need them as you forge alliances, unravel mysteries, and battle foes to turn the tide that threatens us all. Mm. I think that was a great shot right there. Just kind of spotlight the bases of these things and how they're going to work in the game on the board. I think that was a really good shot right there. I that threatens us all. The world still is upon us. Can you stop it? Mm. Paracle Gathering Darkness is an app-driven tabletop role-playing game that combines technology, tabletop gaming, and a dynamic storyline. Thanks to Loremaster, our game's companion app, Paracle functions without a game master. Oh! God, so immediately I have a major issue with the amount of information you're giving me on that front image. Like, I hated that front image before, and now I'm just like, why? Uh, I think it says App Driven Tabletop RPG. That's great. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, wait, does that mean I don't need a GM? I think you need to slap me in the face with that information because that is a needle mover. You know, that is a huge deal for a lot of people, presumably. And I think you really just need, that needs to be, like, boom, funded in 30 minutes. No one cares. Absolutely no one cares. Nana cares that you're funded, but she doesn't care in 30 minutes. We don't care. Put some useful information here. Show me that box. You know, show me that nice box. Show me a price point. Show me GM-less role-playing. Uh, just... So much more that could have been conveyed on that main image, but let's get back to the video. Loremaster offers branching story arcs where your interactions and decisions shape the world around you. Woo, it's a choose your own adventure style game. And we're not supposed to say choose your own adventure style game. I've been told that before. Actually, when I posted in the video, they're like, hey, can you take that? Can you take the it out of the description? You can say it, but they don't. Anywho, um, that's awesome. And this, once again, looks very suspiciously like a board game. <laughs> Will you choose to join secret cults in order to gain advantage over your foes? Or will you shun them in the name of righteousness? Will you rebel in the face of a brutal political hierarchy? Or become an elite member of society and crush opposition with the weight of your allies? These choices, coupled with strategic combat and a rich hero creation system, empower you and your allies to explore the world of Paracle and make your mark on it. 
whether playing solo or with up to four players. Oh, new... see in there once again. That's super valuable information. What's up, Sean? My biggest question is why are you dressed as Santa? Uh, he has not trademarked this look. Anyone can dress like this. Thank you very much. Uh, but but the fact one to four players. I think you need to mention that you can play the solo. It's GM less because the first thing that comes to my mind is the GM less, and then I'm like, oh, could I play the solo? Could I? Could I essentially, if I have anxiety, which I don't actually have this, but if I did, I'm trying to put myself in the perspective, could I still try role-playing games, despite the fact I typically would not feel comfortable ever doing something like that? Oh, you're giving me that opportunity in this box? See, I feel like there's so much more information that could have been conveyed at the beginning. Granted, this is a great video. I think this is a banger of a video, but how many people aren't going to get to the video because the main image is... New era of RPG gaming awaits. Oh, so it's the cover of the box of the board game. The one to four player board game. The adventure role playing game board game. Because I'm going to keep saying this. This is a board game. And let me, like, I don't see, I didn't see much role playing. Like, because here's the thing. And I, and I see this being a double edged sword. I think part of the fun of the RPG, and granted I've only done it a couple times, is that you are essentially creating the story and then the gm has to like deal with whatever shenanigans and nonsense you're creating and they have like rules that they make it so the world comes to life by putting it into the app you take away a good deal of that because it just becomes kind of like a choose your own adventure style game which isn't a bad thing i don't think this is a negative thing i just i'm curious to see what role players are going to think about because this this totally looks like yes there's role creation but let's be honest, this is a board game. This looks like a board game. I would have this as the main image. So long, dog. Great video, though. Top-notch video there. Uh, whichever one of those people did that. Awesome video. So, uh, Long Dog Games is an indie game studio based out of table... T uh, based out... Based out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, our goal is to push the boundaries of tabletop gaming and to give players truly unforgettable fantasy RPG experiences. We are proud to present our first game, Paracol Gathering Darkness, combining tabletop fantasy RPG and groundbreaking app-led gameplay is made not only to bring RPG excitement, but also to push... Okay, and good. Hopefully once they release another thing, they change that, they pivot a little bit, but still, that's nice. Uh, so we got... Oh, great. So we got three people here. We should have some good updates and good customer service, hopefully. Uh, First-time creators. Not always a deal breaker, but hopefully you do a lot of those things that make me feel more comfortable with what you're doing. Like have a great shipping section, or tell me who you're shipping with, or tell me who's manufacturing this board game in the box, or who's making the stuff. Uh, welcome to the world of Paracle, Gathering Darkness, Backer Kit. Uh, what? That's weird. Uh, is an app-driven tabletop role-playing game for one to four players that combines exciting dice com combat with a ground-baking companion app that takes the place of a game master. Pledge levels. Here we go. So we are beating around the bush. We're going straight to the price. This is a hundred dollar game. The core game pledge contains everything you need to play Paracle, A Gathering Darkness. Paracle, Gathering Darkness campaign. Access to lore mask campaign app with 200 plus hours of gameplay. Oh my good golly. You know what's so much more important to me than fun in 30 minutes? 200 plus hours of GMless RPG gameplay. There's so many words that you could put here that would be so much more useful than funded in 30 minutes. Like, nobody cares. It's been abused by so many people who have like $5 projects that it is completely irrelevant now. Hero Handbook, Paracool Rule Booklet. Hopefully you let me click on that at some point. 25 double-sided combat maps in full color. Wow! And this... I would quite, I would totally think this company needs to go look at some of the top tabletop roleplay, or top tabletop board games out there right now, and see the long, sexy scrolling shot of your components. Because this is good, you're showcasing everything, yaddy dotty. But I want to zoom in on all these gorgeous acrylics. What's the biggest one? What's the different characters? What do the character cards look? I want to see it zoomed in on the sheet. I need to see this information, like this. I want to see this zoomed in. Look how far I am away from this. So, 5th pre-generated heroes. This is not a fun shopping area, either. 20 full set of Paracle dice, 75 hero and enemy standees, 30 magic tokens, plus 15, plus 5 pre-generated heroes. What's that mean? Combat and grappling player reference sheet. Oh, a player reference cards. Awesome. Where are those? I want to see those. Where are, the Where are they? Zoom in. Uh, oh, the that's just the not fancy. Please note that no tablet, laptop, nor similar device is included. This player must provide their own device. <laughs> okay, I'm glad they clarified that. <laughs> uh, 120 Kickstarter edition. So this is the one that nobody wants. Nobody wants this crap. We want the Kickstarter edition. What's So sell me on the 20 bucks. Vagir Playable Ancestry and the Magic Item Compendium. What's that mean? What does that include? Is that an extra acrylic? 
Is this like a little mini expansion type of thing? What's going on here? I would hate to see, I would have to see some gameplay before I get hyped, even on any type of, uh, get hyped any on type of hours of play or being GMless. Yeah, uh, hopefully there are some gameplay videos down here. And that's, I agree with that. I think I just want to see how the sausage gets made. I want to see uh, what kind of choices you could go on. So, so $120 though, that's, you're getting a ton of acrylics. You're getting 25 of these. 25 of those double-sided so combat wait these are combat maps so not boards they're maps where are they boards i don't know that'd be that'd be useful information so what's the mats what are, what are the mats made of how thin are the mats how thick are the mats is that a stretch goal like there's so much information i need to know about your board game and i'm just gonna start calling it that because that's what it is uh this looks like if this was fantasy flight if fantasy flight games came out with this you'd be like yep yep there you go that's a board game it's a fantasy flight board game nobody bad an eye which i think is a testament to what you're showcasing here it looks good 120 dollars 150 dollars explorer pledge the explorer pledge includes everything from the other two awesome i love how clean and clear that is extra hero sheets additional full set of paracle dice health trackers and an adventure log book what is it why do i need an adventure log book is this what why do i want this why do i need extra dice is it just to have extra dice because the dice not why do i need all any of this stuff 200 dollars adventure pledge the adventure pledge includes every component for the explorer pledge so everything plus spell cards that whoa 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 what the hell is this hardcover hero handbook so spell cards seem super important and like additional content to the game whereas a hardcover handbook and rule booklet does not like this i hate this pledge level with a passion because spell cards yeah this looks like gameplay content so you're making me buy hardcover books in order to get gameplay content Ugh, gag me with a spoon hulk hero pledge includes every component from the adventure pledge plus 75 additional figure standees so if you just want to have the extra toys i'm very interested to see how popular this pledge level is and that's why i love companies do pledge levels like this where i don't think people are going to take them and then people take them and i'm like okay <laughs> now i know for next time that some come some company does this the champion but i don't think that's going to be popular but prove me wrong i hope i'm wrong the champion pledge includes because i just love the lunacy of kickstarter <laughs> the champion pledge includes every components from the folk era pledge plus uh the arcane rune dice which you're not going to show me cool two by three maps of porta and the jaren islands why do i want this is this like is this um these are just posters oh these are things that i can set so these are like really big maps this is actually really cool this one i think actually might be kind of popular because those that's kind of hot and then the art book I don't know. I'm, I'm so curious to see which pledges these are popular. The World Builder Pledge. The World Builder Pledge includes every component from the Champion Pledge, plus craft an NPC location or magic item that will be featured in every copy. That Whoa, that's hot. That's awesome. So you get the World Builder Pledge. Uh, okay. And then you get the Hydra. This is the big one. The Hydra includes every component from the Champion Pledge, plus create a boss or mini-boss that will be featured in every copy of the game. Cool. Three hundred dollars, though that is three hundred. Yeah, that's that's expensive. And that, but price means nothing anymore on Kickstarter. So uh, okay, and they didn't even list the the like super duper fancy one. But this is clean and clear. I mean, this isn't bad. So I think most people probably would be at the hundred and twenty dollar edition, maybe. That's my prediction. So hundred dollars, six backers. Nobody wants that crap. Hundred twenty dollars, nine backers. Nobody wants that crap. Wow, hundred fifty dollars. What's this one? This is the Extra hero sheets, extra full set of paracle dice, 12 trackers, three backers here. Uh, adventure pledge. This is the $200. No more writing debt. So this is the two backers. All right. So apparently one of the big ones is the most popular one, which is fantastic. That means that they're marketing their big one well. That being said, the fact that these are so low kind of tells me you don't need this many. <laughs> you don't need this many. Uh, this could have been done in add-ons. Champion pledge. Three backers. Okay, what do we get into the good one? So, the, wait, wait, wait. We're saying the most popular one is one of these. Zero backers. Uh, the World Builder. Three backers. How the hell? What? Oh, wait, is this? Oh, the VIP special core game. Oh, this is the early bird. So, everything is on the early bird. N Ooh, when did this early bird end? Yes or no? Keep scrolling. They had day one VIP orders. Yep. 225 people. And the VIP... Okay, so this is the core game. 225 this is the Kickstarter edition, 243, VIP 87, 187. So yeah, everybody here is day one. So if everybody here is day one, and let, we can actually, this is so fascinating to me. Because we can literally see how many people 
have backed this pretty much since they took down those stretch goals or took down the the via or the um the early birds so that's 6 15 18 20 what no scroll over here 23 26 27 people have backed this since whenever their early bird ended and that's fascinating to me i'd love to know how long a period of time that is and maybe hopefully we'll figure out that much because that's just fascinating to know that oh it's 27 people back this in a day or is that in two days or three days all right anywho uh add-ons oh yeah we can still down here so did people take the vip the 200 so which one was the least popular 87 the explorer pledge the adventure pledge no they're all pretty good numbers all right kudos good for them they know their customers. Special edition arcane rune dice, and now we do have an add-on section. Excellent. This is good. Is the dollar? Does the one dollar get you that? Thank you. Access to the pledge manager after the fact. Awesome. Cool. Clean and clear. Great. How to play? Stuff. Mm -hmm. What do I want to know? All right, my price. Uh, I just need to know shipping because I know I'm getting a box. So I'm assuming I'm paying 120. Let's just say 120. I'm going 120 here. A new and RPG with an app-driven game master, third-party content. Whoa! This release of Paracle will not allow for third-party content. Oh, never mind. However, a consequent release will. So, uh, oh, here we go. Will allow you to create your own adventures and upload them to the Lore Master app, including storylines. That's fantastic. And quite honestly, I think that was something that could have been mentioned in the video. You know, and in the next edition, uh, or I think I think that could have been a better reveal. I think that could have been something because I think, yeah. Yeah, I think maybe in the video, because that just gets me excited. Like, oh, if I really love this, in the future, I'll actually be able to make my own. And I think that's really appealing to a lot of people. Nicholas Arnold. I, I think Game Masters. All right, Nicholas Arnold. So we got stuff. What am I even looking at? Legion of Stuff, fully funded. Oh, these are stretch goals? Um, continue supporting Paracle to unlock stretch goals. So what, what, are, the, what are the stretch goals? <laughs> what does this mean? What What's going on? Um... So we had, wait, why does it say 10, 20, 30, 40 if our goal was 60? Oh, the goal was 60, so 40, 60. So th that's cool. That means they weren't quite, they weren't, I, that tells me that they probably are really excited with how much they're raising and how fast this did if they had this little graphic here. Uh, the Modern Lick, cool stuff. Stretch goals, oh, here we go. Project funded. Upgraded map and combat guide materials. How when how did we unlock this? What was the amount? I'd love to see that. I always think that's vital information. Also, this is just text. Uh, I'd love to see some pictures, like combat guide material upgrade. What is the combat guide again? What's the current upgrade? What's the new upgrade? Something like that. Some additional information. Map material will be upgraded to chipboard, and multi-sheet maps will have locking mechanisms, better quality, and longer durability. Oh my gosh! This is a banger of a stretch goal. This needs to be substantially higher. I'm just seeing this 18 minutes into the Kickstarter campaign, and now it goes from being paper to being actual, like, you know, board board and who's to say it won't get even nicer not to mention they're going to start interlocking together like you couldn't just show me like two puzzle pieces locking together and like some of the boards or some useful information like that like this could be spruced up so much nicer instead of just text it'd get me more excited about the project upgrade paying you money upgraded paracle dice paracle dice will now be engraved instead of screen printed show me what that means show me on two different dice that aren't even the dice there oh this to that anything like that uh, because most people know this, but it just, it could be, it could look so much better and so much prettier. It could be so much a fun stretch goal area where I could just kind of browse instead of having to read. New Lore Master will have 20 more pieces of breathtaking fantasy artwork. Um, Lore Master, oh, so it's just gonna have more art. Cool. Summon standees, uh, summon creatures and companions from wolves to spirits to dragons that can aid you as you put protect the growing darkness. These summons will now have their own standees. Oh! cool that's like big i think yeah that's really nice it'd be i'd be more impressed if there were pictures i'd probably have a better idea of what i'm getting additional artwork for the hero handbook cool hansa league expansion we've had a bunch of stretch goals now a new threat looms on the horizon with warships and mercenaries 20 more hours of gameplay and it's just kind of just thrown in here and, and i go back to this 220 hours of gameplay you know, just, you could have 200 hours, so, when you're selling things, like, 200 hours of gameplay, and then, like, Kickstarter, like, you have some sort of, like, line through it, 220, thanks to Kickstarter, or Stretch Goals, or something like that, there's so much more information that could have been conveyed, that could have made me excited, because now I just feel like I'm going through the motions here, 100, 
I'm just looking for shipping, honestly. A history, uh, 100 additional lore master cutscene animations. Because I feel like I'm convinced. I'm either in on this or I'm not. I don't feel like anything you're going to tell me is going to be like, mm, I'm on the fence. Well, aside from gameplay videos. That would be spectacular. At least anything in stretch goal-wise. Uh, 100 additional lore master cutscene animations. Wow! That's amazing! So if you had one, why don't you just put a gif of it here? So I can see what that is. And I say, wow, there's a hundred of those? Yippee! Uh, extra large Kraken and large Cyclops. Two more bosses and their figurines have just been unlocked. So there's actually more components, more acrylic standees that you are unlocking and you don't have pictures of them here for me. And I just, I had to go down here to find out about it. And how many people didn't do that? How many people are like, yeah, this is great, I'm going to buy it. Or no, this wasn't great, I'm not, it's not for me. Like, I feel like this information should be right next to the price or right in front of the price. Uh, additional artwork for the Paracle rule book. The Paracle rule book went out five, but cool, whatevs. Uh, artwork, download a preview of the handbook. This is not the, I don't want the handbook. I want the rule booklet. There it is. Whoop. All right. Somebody told me I had to double click. Thank you. Person last time. Hero creation. Determine your heroes. Okay. Determine, because this is not quite a typical board game. So I'm still looking for that as components and setup. Oh, that's because this isn't the rule booklet. This is the rule booklet. No, this is the handbook. Wait, what? There we go. Show me something good. Welcome, no theme art. Oh God, where's the components and set? <laughs> Why? Why? Where's the components and setup? That's that's all. I, you're just telling me information and showing me stuff, and I don't have the board set up in front of me because you didn't. Okay. That concerns me a little bit. That concerns me a little bit. Uh, that did not look like a fun experience to read. That hopefully. There's a great tutorial, which once meant, if there is, that's something that you should mention. That is a needle mover. Like, that is huge. If I know that your app-driven board game has a tutorial, <laughs> caught me in. All right, Paracle is part tabletop gaming and video game all rolled into one. It's everything we love and unlike anything we've ever seen. Okay. This is, like, garbage. Like... <laughs> I know this. I've been on this Kickstarter page for 22 minutes. Everything you just told me there, I'm like, yeah, obviously. Like, so it's not, if this is the first quote, the very top, it's a different thing. But at this position, why? The pa the people putting this together are really passionate about this. It's like D&D, &D, but it has an application that is the dungeon master for you. Once again, I know maybe I'm supposed to be impressed by the people saying these things, but they're literally just telling me what I have been looking at already for a while. Tell me what's fun about it. This is the character creation. Feel fantastic. The variety of choices. You'll always be wondering what you should have done. Like something that I'm going to feel in this game. The unique combination of an automated game master to make this truly soulable, along with the physical tabletop components, makes this RPG an instant back for me. So excited. So <laughs> this is terrible. All these quotes are terrible. I know all this stuff. I'm here. What? Ugh. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Three minutes. Knees by moving adjacent to them is an important tactical maneuver. And take Hydra's attack multiple. No, I want to see the screen. Rolls I wanna, this is not what I want. Why can't we just see a gameplay video? I don't see a preview. So hate the video section. Hate the quote section. Shipping. So oh, this is clean and clear. Core game only sixteen bucks. All of the pledges twenty bucks. I do like that. Uh, so I'm looking at a hundred, and now with that, I think when you did that to me, I think I'm just gonna go with the hundred dollar version. So now I'm at one hundred and fifteen dollars. I think that's a good price. I do for two hundred and twenty hours of gameplay. Now, granted, I'm not convinced of anything else, like the can you do it. The gameplay, there was no, like, ugh. And here's the one, the other th other thing that I want to look at these quotes for. Whenever I look at a quote, I want to say to myself, could the person who did that quote not actually played the game? Because a lot of times, people will take quotes from people talking about, like, oh, this looks super cool, and it has this and then that and the other. Uh, so this person right here, they're just talking about it. It's everything we love and unlike anything we've ever seen. So it doesn't say they've actually played the game. And that's something I always want you to look at. Analyze those quotes. Because <laughs> a lot of times, companies be pulling those, and you're like, what? This person never even played this damn thing. Like, I see it all the time. 
And the reason why I know this is because I see it all the time in Kickstarter tech products. They'll like they'll be like, Time Magazine said this. It's like, yeah, Time Magazine literally has a section that's about like Kickstarter stuff, and they're just saying that you're on Kickstarter. That does not like. <clears throat> all right. Anywho, timeline finalized development pre-production so it's coming out early january game shipped to warehouse retailer notes retail store price 920 dollars what how many are you getting you pay 50 percent off this total later so how many might oh it includes 10 copies why typically people put this um in a pledge level <laughs> the retail oh there is a retail store pledge you just didn't include it with the rest of the stuff where is the retail store pledge? Champion pledge? Oh, here we go. Nobody, yeah, nobody's here. I, because once again, I'm I'm very skeptical about the track record. I need a gameplay video. I really need a gameplay video on this. I don't need you talking zoomed out on what's going on here. Lots of people behind it. Connect with us. Stuff, risks and challenges. Okay. Did you mention the VAT, by the way, and the shipping? Probably not. I think I would have noticed that. Shipping! Oh, VAT. Yes, never mind. Good. They're the cost estimates for our fulfillment company as of February 22. They're not guaranteed, so final shipping costs may vary. Please note there are the additional customers, so you're going to get jacked by the VAT. Cool. Good. I just glanced over that. I apologize. So, FAQ updates, comments. No FAQ. I'd like to know the size of the box. I'd like to know the size of the miniatures. Did you tell me that? Did you tell me the size of the minis? The size of these acrylics, I guess I should say? Did you tell me our cards I'm getting? Do these are cards in this? Yeah, there's spell cards, but only if you get the special edition of the game. What do the spell cards do? I got a lot of questions. I got a lot of questions that you're... But there's none. Final shipping update. That's interesting. Um, typically, when you see a final shipping update, that's because the game has been manufactured and sent out. They're like, nope, this is the last one. Uh, we apologize for the confusion. In the name of transparency, we are changing our strategy. We'll be charging shipping up front through Kickstarter, not after the campaign via backer kit. They will only be charged shipping once. By charging shipping through Kickstarter, the price you see here is the price you'll pay through Kickstarter when our campaign's in April. That does not change the price of the Kickstarter. Should you okay? Uh, also, this way leads to bigger Kickstarter campaign totals. So right now, it looks like it seems like shipping is an awesome deal for us backers for the pledge level. Uh, Twenty dollars for the core game seems like a great deal. Okay. So, shipping update number two. One comment. So, where's... I'm actually... I'm looking for a regular update. I always like to judge them off regular updates because shipping updates are... I will say, that's good customer service there. This does not look like these were fun updates to make. <laughs> and you did them. And that says a lot to me. You're being open. You're being transparent. Good. We're flying through these stretch goals. Let's get to that. Uh, project funded. We did it. Upgrade the map and combat. Now that the game gets pretty, we have upgraded combat quick guides and upgraded maps. Once again, yeah, they talked about like player reference things. They didn't show me any of this. The maps will be sturdy and long lasting. And they'll have puzzle like locking mechanics in the corner of our extra large maps, like the Hydra Cave and the Fighting Pits. That's awesome. Pictures would have been amazing. Just of the basic premise of what you're doing. Upgradable Pericle die. Uh, so you're just telling me stuff. You're telling me the things. And awesome work, all sweet. And this is all you're going to get. Because these are not good updates. You're not engaging me. You're not asking me what would you like to see. You're not saying what what are you what character are you most excited to play? Because I don't even know. I don't know about the characters. There's so much information I don't know about this game. There's so much you could be telling me in these updates as well, or asking me in these updates. It's just these are. Let's go check. I want to see what the most popular update is aside from the shipping one. So there's eight, two, three. When did this launch? This launch March 9th. So this has only been up one day. Ooh, they're smashing it. We're livebackers. Let's smash this on day one uh three okay so i would ask some questions i would get people more engaged in regards to the vip pressing if i decided to up my pledge later will it reflect that for instance i am in on the course set at 89 dollars. if you want to go to the next level should it show as 110 instead for 120 for me because right now it shows as 120 Ugh. uh very interesting this game can't we see how it actually plays yeah yeah no joke that is essential gameplay video is this on board game geek because I feel like it is a disservice to this game not to have this on Bird Game Geek. Because there's going to be a very specific... Uh, nope. Oh, wait. Yeah. Is that it? Is that it? Nope. That's a different paracle. Nope. This is it. Okay. Okay. So it is on Board Game Geek. Good. Good, good, good. That is a ghost town there. No gameplay videos. No how to play videos. No latest videos. And once again, that's just lazy right there. And I will say it's also lazy on me not to have mine up there because uh, I'm going to post this as soon as we get done. But that's a way that people who are more interested in this game could get excited about this game because there's a lot of things here. You know, this 30 to 120 minutes, one to four players, this is a solo adventure game 
put your content on Board Game Geek so you can get yourself on the hotness. I could easily see a game like this being on the hotness. Like, imagine, uh, yeah, this because this feels like something that, like, Lucky Duck Games has been putting out lately. You know, this does not feel any different to me than that. So I would, I would definitely spice up that Board Game Geek page. Has anyone managed to download the Hero Handbook, the latest email from Paracle the Game, including this message that I can't seem to get it to work? Uh, thank you. Have prototype copies been sent out to anyone that make a review? I tried to find the context of all the quotes that were used in the campaign stage. The video I found with my heart gate discusses the pre-launch webpage. Whoa, oh, oh. Like I said, analyze your quotes. Analyze your quotes. The video I found with Ms. Hartnett expresses the pre-launch webpage. The Nerves Lost video was only a Q&A, and the search I did on Lord Gwydwin was unsuccessful. I'm interested to find out what people have to say after actually diving into the game. What? You mean people don't just want quotes from people who haven't played the game? Shocking. COVID threw a wrench into our prototype manufacturing. Nope. Bullshit. I call bananas on that. That is not an excuse. There are still prototyping services that will print your thing right now. You go to the Game Crafter, you could make this. Guaranteed. You go hit up Ad Magic, Long Pack. You go I don't know if I don't know if they do the prototype service. There are tons of people that have that. So I just No, I can't give them a pass on that. That's a full letter grade drop. Not having a gameplay video in any way, shape, or form, especially when you're an app-driven game. When you're saying, hey, we're going to do something that's going to blow your mind through this app. Can we see you do it? No. Cool. Go through a our prototype manufacturer. We haven't been able to get our prototype into as many hands as we would have wanted. We've sent our Loremaster prototype out, but we don't have any review videos made for us yet. The quotes we posted are from a few of our Q&As, some of which we've sent demoed slash lore master it is safe to assume we won't be seeing anyone give their impressions of a demo for the game during this campaign i understand the pandemic threw wrenches all over the place but this is the second time this game has been brought to kickstarter oh no you did not no you did not what what bombshells highest i can give right now without that gameplay is a c I, I don't know yet. I'm so up in the air. This Has this been on board? Has this been on Kickstarter before? What the hell? People dropping bombs here. Pericle. Uh, see all 12 results. Because it doesn't show up in there. Um, no. Oh, Pericle. Canceled. By Long Dog Games. It doesn't show up in their thing. Oh, that's because they decided to start a new one. So I immediately am not a fan of that. Ooh. Yeah, leaning more towards the D plus. I see that too. Like, why are you hiding this? Like, it just... The fact that you hide it just makes it look bad. It's like when I tell... I see my kids do it all the time. It's like, what you're doing isn't even bad. But it looks bad because you're hiding it. Uh, so, let's see. This is... Uh, is this... Death. The Paracle interesting interesting the plot thickens and when was this when was this february 20 this was a year ago no 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 you're telling me in the last year you couldn't make a prototype get out of here sounds sketchy to me huckleberry on the net on the head there on the head I, too, would like to see somebody well-known in the board game industry some side of playthrough preview video of the game itself. Yeah, because it's a board game! It's not... I mean, it might be a role play game. So you go all the comments about the VIP shipping prior attempt to launch. And that's the other thing. Like, the shipping thing, where it's like, oh, we're, we have to do three shipping updates because something didn't go right here. This is your second swing at this. Like, that just... It's, it's so curious to me. Second day of the Kickstarter, let's see where this day comes. I'm shooting for 750k by the end of the campaign. Oh my Jesus, that'd be amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah. I did for a stretch goal. 3D G codes for all the standees. I would love to print all these heroes and creatures. I'll float this in my teeth. That's actually a great idea. And once again, look at Crits Batzel doing exactly what I always tell you to do in the updates. Ask your backers questions. What would you like to see? We're smashing through stretch goals. What would you like to see? In the future expansions and future adventures, where would you like to see us go? There's so many people. You have role players here. Role players are extremely loquacious. Engage them. 
Wait, is this an RPG or a board game? Both. Yes, both. What worries me are the number of simple and not so simple errors being made with this project. The release of the in under 12 hours, we have already raised thousands email a full day before the campaign even opened. The inability to correctly set up the Kickstarter pledge levels such that they didn't automatically include shipping into the price of the pledge. I've noticed now another red flag in the launch day email sent yesterday. This is just a friendly reminder that Paracle Gathering Starters launches on Kickstarter today at 7 a.m. The problem here is Jeremy doesn't seem to understand time zones okay so that that's that's nitpick i'm not going there i screw up time zones all the time but he's not wrong this these are the little things on the can you do it where it's like mm, mm. and then and then the big thing is what was our goal here our goal was what 60k is 60k okay that's realistic that's that's yeah i mean they're making a board game with acrylics uh whoo okay so final grade on this one f no it's not an f this is not an f because at the end of the day do i want it yes there's because there's only three questions because i'm not grading the game i am grading the kickstarter presentation sometimes people get those two lines crossed i've never played this game in my life i am not going to give you my opinion i'm mean, gonna give you what i think about it but do I want it? Yes. I think their video did a very good job of saying, you know, it spotlighted the acrylics, it spotlighted the board, it made it like interesting dice. And I know we've come so far since that video, and I think it was one of the main issues here. I think we just get to the video, we get straight down to the price, the stretch goes boom, bing, bang, in, out. Maybe a comeback for updates, we do some engaging things here. Um... <sighs> oh, and a gameplay video would be nice. So do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? No. I don't feel comfortable with that. Because not only are you telling me you're going to make a board game, which every Joe Schmo on, on, on Kickstarter does. And that, that's I love that. I love the fact that you can do that. But you're talking about making a board game and a very functional and immersive app. In addition, you are making a big handbook and a big rule booklet, and you have next to no pedigree, at least as far as I see. Now, let's check it out. Uh, do they have any... Pre so this is... You're a first-time game designer who is designing a 220 hour game that could be done but that is a very hard sell do i want it meh need gameplay need more fun for the video they didn't sell me i see the potential but it's missing something can they do it not confident yeah i think gameplay video is just huge here and how much is it i don't think the price is unreasonable when you're factoring in 220 hours of gameplay but at the end of the day i think this was uh, uh, i just <sighs> I'm not the biggest fan of the presentation of this. I'm going to go with a D plus, I think, on this one. I think a gameplay video could immediately bump that up to a C plus. I think some reorganization could immediately bump that e even higher. But, like, this is just... Go look... I say this all the time. I shouldn't have to say this. Go look at, like, five or ten other Kickstarter tabletop game projects that are super popular and just copy the ideas of what they do and what you like. Not having the long, sexy scrolling shot here. Not explaining to me the cards. The spell cards. I want spell cards. What are spell cards? You know what? I'm going D. I'm going D. Let me know in the comments below. What is your final project? Price to me is way too high for a tabletop. But it's it's 200 hours of gameplay. And it's app driven. And so when you have those things, I think I think at that point I'm like 100 bucks. Yeah. You're getting 50 acrylics. You're getting 25 double-sided boards. Once again, this game sells all 25 double-sided boards. What size are the boards? Hell if I know. You didn't tell me. Because <laughs> damn it. <laughs> I keep going lower. Like that's like I don't know the size of these boards. I don't know the size of these standees. Just uh, spell cards. Oh, spell cards. To help keep your spells organized and visible. Okay, they're not gameplay. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a D plus. I'm getting out of here with a D plus. Let me know in the grades, the comments below what your grades are. Also, doing another live stream in 20 minutes, and then another one the hour after that. It's going to be an interesting one where I take you on a tour of Bowers Game Corner. We're getting into the nitty gritty. Plus, it's going to be an ask me anything. So if you have any questions, go ahead. And you can even post that in the chat beforehand if you're not going to be able to do it live. But as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye bye.